This is Licia. Hi. This is Lewis. Sup. Licia and Lewis are two special cats. Licia is all white with super funky eyes. That's right. I don't need no crazy complex patterns. Sometimes simple is the best. But Lewis is the abnormal one out of the two. He's a calico. And I'm not a woman. Listen to my voice. Does it sound like a woman to you? So, how did these two come to be? Other than a crazy lady drew and animated them, let's go into the genetics and conditions that caused these two to become the way they are. Let's start off with Lewis. Let's look into a general calico's makeup. Coat colors in cats are sex-linked traits. It is a physical characteristic related to gender. Females have two X chromosomes, while males only have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. Color is carried on through the X chromosome. The color display is usually either orange or black. White is a separate gene, but we'll get to that later. Since females have two X chromosomes, they are able to display two different colors, such as orange and black, creating the tortoiseshell or torty. And if the cat has white gene, it also creates a calico. Now, let's look into Lewis's genetic makeup. Since Lewis is a calico, that means he needs two X chromosomes in order to have the black and orange colors he has, but he's male, which means he has a Y chromosome. So instead of the XY chromosomes that males have, he has an XXY chromosome. Only 1 in 3,000 calicos are born male. And there are three ways a male calico can be born. The first way is through mosaicism, which was the process we just explained. The second way is through chimerism. This is when two kitten embryos bump into each other in the mother's womb and merge together. One of the embryos has the black gene, while the other has the ginger gene, as well as one or both of the embryos are male, which, combined, creates a male calico. The third cause is from somatic mutation, which is when a ginger male embryo develops black patches in the way human babies develop birthmarks. Hmm, <laughs> seems pretty cool. I see nothing wrong with being one in 3,000. Unfortunately, Lewis, there is a catch to being a male calico. And what's this catch? There is a likely chance that male calicos are unable to reproduce. I can't have kids. Well, it depends on how you were born. The most common, the mosaic calico, creates a male who is unable to reproduce. No. Oh. But if you were born due to chimerism or due to somatic mutation, you are able to reproduce. So, which one am I then? Do you have kids? Well, not yet. Lisi and I are not quite ready to have kids yet, so we don't know. Let's look at the facts. A chimera in nature is very rare, while somatic mutation is more common. Since you are a male calico, you are rare enough. It would be safe to assume that you are a result of somatic mutation. Okay, so if I can reproduce, what would that look like for offspring? If you are a chimera, you would only be able to contribute the black or the orange gene, not both. Until you have a litter of kittens, we won't know what color you contribute. If you were a somatic mutation, you would only be able to contribute the orange gene. So, I guess we'll wait and see? So, what about the white? Ah uh, yes, I said I would explain the white gene. The white gene is a semi-dominant gene that is very expressional and can be carried in many cats. It can create dominant white cats and white spotting, or it can be caused by albinism. Albinism? So, am I an albino? Let's look into what albinism in cats looks like. There are five known alleles for albinism. The blue-eyed albino, the pink-eyed albino, Burmese pattern, Siamese pattern, and fully color, or non-albino. Full color is dominant to all the other alleles, but let's see if you are an albino. Well, I can tell you that I have no Burmese or Siamese in my bloodline. Well, that eliminates those two possible alleles, and you do not have pink eyes, so you are not that type of albino. Your eyes are not fully blue, therefore you cannot be a blue-eyed albino. So that leaves you as a full color, which is the most dominant of all the alleles. Okay, I'm not albino, so what am I then? 
According to the Cat Fanciers Association, a white cat must have a white parent. Do you have a white parent? No. My dad's a tuxedo and my mom's a torty. Hmm. Interesting. Dominant white cats will either have blue eyes or orange eyes and are usually deaf. Well, I have hearing issues, but I'm not deaf. And again, my eyes aren't completely blue. You're right. You're not a dominant white cat. Then how is my coloration explained? Your coloring is explained through white spotting. White spotting? Yes. Most cats carry the white spotting gene, and there are many levels of white spotting too. Level 1 is basically a solid colored cat with the gene present, but not expressed. Therefore, they are a carrier despite not showing it. Oh, so that would be like Zane and Mento since they don't have white spots, but they have the possibility of carrying it to their kittens. Exactly, Lucia. Levels 2 through 4 produce cats with white spotting that can be just a couple spots to a tuxedo pattern. So that's like Rook, Stella, Kira, Zachary, Rosalind, and my sister Veronica. That's correct. Level 5 creates the bicolor, giving them half and half with their original color and white. So Louis, my brother Leroy, and his fiance Joey. Correct. And then there are levels 6 through 9 in which the cat is mostly white and their original color gets more restricted. And that would be like my other brother, Evan. That is also right. And then there is level 10, where they are fully white. They sometimes have a smudge of their original color on their forehead when they are newborns, and they can have blue, green, yellow, orange, copper, or odd colored eyes. Then that must be me. I was born with a little black and orange on my forehead, but then it disappeared when I was two months old. And I have blue, yellow, copper, and green eyes. Now we know what you are, and it explains why you are white, despite not having white parents. So, seeing our interesting situation, what would a possible litter of kittens look like for us? Well, since we know that under Lysia's white she is a calico, and since we don't fully know if Lewis is a mosaic, a chimera, or has somatic mutation, let's say that Lewis is a chimera and able to reproduce for this example. Since we've explained that a chimera can only pass on either an orange gene or a black gene, we would have some possibilities. If Lewis passed the orange gene, the chances would be a 50% chance of calico kitten and a 50% chance of an orange kitten for a female, and 50% chance of a black kitten and a 50% chance of an orange kitten for a male. And if Lewis passed on the black gene, the only thing that would change is that it would be 50% chance of a calico kitten and 50% chance of a black kitten for the females, while the chances stay the same for the males. But if Lewis has the somatic mutation, he would only be able to pass on the orange gene. And since both of you have the white spotting gene, there's a large chance most or all of your kittens will have white spotting too. And is it possible I could have a white kitten? Yes, it is very possible for the two of you to have a level 10 white spotting kitten. Cool! cool. And there we have it. We have been able to explain why Lewis is a calico and a male, and how Lysia is white. Cool. 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 Cool beans. 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 Cool beans. Beans. Cool. 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 Cool beans. 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 Cool beans. Cool beans. Cool beans.